Hi, so I'm Colin and this is Tavia. Wait, I feel like they've seen I us hate before, when I right? Do this. <laughs> Spirit fingers. Yeah, you've seen us before. We've taken a hiatus, but we are. We're back and we are ready to go. It's 2020 and we are ready to start our podcast. We're committed to this. Yeah, we're committed to this. We are committed to this. Okay, and we, so like, I think that, so we're, this is gonna be like, audio only on the podcast site so oh. we don't necessarily need to like talk to the camera i think we just oh, talk okay. to each other but that's bad but we for do our angle. talking to like the audience as well anyway okay. so <clears throat> yeah so it's 2020 we're starting it out right we're starting this new podcast podcast what are we going to talk about we're going to talk about well we got to name it i think that the name is tavia talk i think it okay yeah, I like this. You like a segment on, on, on the, channel, the channel, on Colin's Cosmos. Maybe it's like... Was it me? Not my thought. Sorry, turn it off. <clears throat> okay, I think maybe like Tuesday Talk with Tavia. Okay. It's kind of got a ring. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I think it's just all about real life here. We've got work. Drama. Well, it's, it's, I feel like it's an abundance because I mm -hmm. feel like we talk on the phone every single morning. Every single morning. And even this morning she was calling me when she was on her way down to my house and... I had so much to tell you. We, she had so much to tell me and like we just, we just have so much life to, to like <laughs> yeah. share and I feel like... But now I feel now like I had to write it down because I forgot. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So tell me, this morning, Tavia was talking about the girl. What happened with the girls? Okay, well, I was supposed to be here at 9, but I misjudged my timing because I dropped the girls off at school, and then I ran into one of the teachers, and she's going through some stuff, so I was talking. And then I made my big my post this morning, so then I had to sit there and think about it. Well, what post did you make? My 2020, like, post. Do you want me to link your Instagram? Yours is private though. Mine's You're gonna private. get a bunch of weird. Yeah, we don't want weird <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> I know that he's a weirdo. I, I just, just am sensitive about. I was gonna say I could link your Instagram no. and then people could see it, but then you're like, you know what? You can take decline, a decline, <laughs> decline, decline. You can take a screenshot and you can you can uh, story it. What if our podcast takes off and people want to like connect with you? On then that, I'm gonna on have a to have a separate level. Instagram. Yeah. Oh. But I don't. I don't know if I'm committed. A finsta. Fake Instagram. I know. I learned that on the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't believe so it. So anyway, so you made your 2020 post. And yeah. Then... It's a little bit about me in the last decade. So I was sitting there doing it, so then I got behind time, and then I was late. Just a couple minutes. Wait, well, so what's the story with the girls? There was some story. You're like, was oh my it? god, you're never going to, you're going to laugh. You're oh, gonna... what was it? You're, you're going to laugh. laugh. So that's a funny uh -huh. story too. So Tavy had this client. Why don't you tell a story? No, it wasn't a client. It was an agent. Oh. We sell real estate. Correct. If people forgot. Yes. Because we've been on a hiatus. And um, this agent, every time she wanted to give me bad news, she'd go, you're going to laugh. And I didn't laugh. I never laughed. It wasn't funny. She's not funny. So now... <laughs> I just sell Colin well, all the time. Because she would say it right that, like when something bad happened. Yeah, like you'd call and be like, what's going on? She's like, oh, you're going to laugh. Right. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm not actually going to laugh. Yeah. It's not funny. Yeah. It's not funny. You're annoying to me. <laughs> so then I tell Colin all the time, you're going to laugh. But really, I looked at my watch. I'm sorry. It's fine. I know. It's not funny. Anyway, so that's what, yeah, that's what yeah. we say all the time, like, you're going to laugh, you're going to laugh. laugh. So anyway, that's what TV said to me this morning. Yeah, but now I don't remember. This oh. is the problem is we talk every morning. and well, I Are like, you nervous because of the camera? No, I feel like I need a mic myself, like, when I wake up. Like, I need a crew just to follow me around. Well, maybe we'll get to that point. Yeah, maybe. Our reality Alan. show. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, well, I have Yeah, what's new with you? So... I think I showed you um, this boy, I probably shouldn't say his name, but mm -mm. there's this boy on Instagram that we follow each other for a while. I think I showed you his Instagram. Did He's you? He's really cute. He's from Portland. Well, now you're giving it away. Too many details. Well, it's fine. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Anyway, he's in town and because uh -oh. he, well, because we were messaging on Instagram and um, he... We, so we were like talking and we were kind of exchanging pictures. <laughs> That's what the gays do. They exchange dirty pictures. Inappropriate pictures. I actually, inappropriate. It was so funny because I was on FaceTime with Devon and Sam last night. And I was like, Devon, you're totally going to steal this kid away from me because he's going to go out with us this weekend. And he's totally Devon's type because he's, he's like, little. 
He's he's so cute though. Remember I'll that one you picture you sent me? And I was like, I need okay, to... Okay, not that little. Okay. He's cute. <laughs> so I was like... I, was... I had to delete it because he was the first thing I saw. <laughs> you know, my text message was this like little boy, like, like, like... He's been starving himself. He was, he was tiny. But that's Devon's type. Devon, our, our friend Devon. Um, I actually don't know Devon. You FaceTimed with him before. But I've never met him. Like, oh. met him. Well, but he, he likes... he's probably for the best because he loves, he probably loved me. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I think he already loves you. I yeah. think he told Who does that? said that to me. Anyway, so Devon likes really tiny boys. But anyway, so I said that, Devon, you're, gonna, you're going to steal this guy away from me. And so I was showing him the pictures that he sent me on Instagram. He's like, ah, oh, Lord. Like, Wait, are they talking to? No. No. Just him and I. So anyway, Wait, so. why is this boy going out with you? What do you mean? He's going out with you in a group? Well, like, okay, so. Let, seen, okay, let sorry, me back sorry, it up. Sorry, okay, sorry. so. So he's Continue. a morning, He's like, it's, it's so weird. I'm going to be in Denver. Uh, in, I think we might be done with the coffee. That is like one of the, my most pet peeves is I just want to get straw. like the last little bit. Okay. So anyway, so um, he said that I'm going to be in Denver in the beginning of January. I said, okay, well, here's my phone number. Hit me up. And we were like chatting a little bit and exchanging pictures or whatever. So he's here. He got here last night. And so I was, I was texting him. I was like, hey, did you get in? He's so sweet. Do you he's have so a picture cute. of his face? I do, yeah. Or a whole Instagram. wiener? I have his, I don't have, I haven't seen his waiter. Oh, that's good. I've seen his butt. I, <laughs> so I'll show you, should I show you? Ugh, we want to show is the it a hole? No, it's not a hole. Okay. So anyway, so There's so in. much to this world. Okay. So anyway, so he got in last night. Yeah. And so Sam was saying that. Wait, side note, Colin has two phones. He has to go find the other phone. I have the work <laughs> phone and I have the personal phone. Um, okay. So anyway, so Sam was like, uh, she's she wants to go out for somebody Taylor in her office. Oh yes, yeah, so her birthday. birthday she's turning twenty one. So she wants to go to tracks. Oh, to be twenty one. And so I was like, oh well, this would be perfect because this guy's in town and I can invite him to tracks. So I was texting him last night. and He said he wants to go. So let okay. me go ahead and find him. I will not be going. You don't want to go to tracks. To tracks. So tracks is the gay club. The gays. Okay, so these are his, this is his Instagram, and you have to talk while you're looking. Okay, so I'm talking while I'm looking. Oh, he's got like an amazing jawline. Really pretty, not cute in that picture. That's weird. Um, That's Halloween. Okay, he painted his face like a skeleton. He looks tall. Is he tall? Is that a cowlick or a plant? It's a plant. <laughs> it's a plant. It's a plant. Oh, he looks really actually quite handsome. Who's that little nugget? Is this his? Which one is he? The long? This one. Oh, he's super cute. Yeah. He doesn't Very look cute. tiny though. He's not tiny. Well then, how? I don't love his nose ring. He's got that bolt. The septum. Ugh. Why don't you like his septum piercing? I don't know. It like, I don't get it. Okay. What are you doing with it? He's, what is? He's a bull. Okay. I don't really know. Okay, so we've seen enough of these pictures. Look at that, how cute he looks in that picture. Yeah, he's cute, but how is that Devon's type? Because Devon likes skinny, scrawny little boys. Oh, God. Butts. I'm about to see a butt. I'm about to see a butt. Look how cute he is. Oh, look at his little whitey tighties. Who knew whitey tighties were in? Again. This one's funny. <laughs> Oh my god. So okay. anyway, so he's in town and he's so sweet. Like we've been texting and so he told me why he Should we call him while we're on this? No. So I I asked him, I said, well, I don't think I asked you why you're in Denver. And he said, you're, you're, it's a funny story, you're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh. <laughs> you're gonna laugh. So he said that his ex he has custody, joint custody of his dog with his ex, and his ex and his new boyfriend just moved to Denver. Okay. So the boyfriend and his new boyfriend flew to Portland while he came out here to hang out with the dog. Okay, time out. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and unpack all this. Let's, un let's, let's, let's take the layer of this onion okay. and pull it back. That's right. also my new favorite thing. Like, yeah, layer the onion. onion. And here's my other thing. 2020, my hashtag is just find a therapist. I feel like everybody needs a therapist and like at this well, point. Well, if you find a good one, I would be I happy to. Sign me up. If anybody's a therapist watching, we're here. <laughs> Okay, this onion. That's weird. At some point, do you just like sever ties with this dog? No, because like, it's your baby. Okay. 
I don't have animals. Uh, yeah, Tavia's not really an animal person. No, she no, no. I don't animals. want people to hate on me. I just, I have kids. <laughs> I don't, I just don't have time for an animal. Right. Right. Well, I think my theory on it is Tavia used to have two cats and they died pretty horrifically. Maybe we'll unpack yeah. that later. Two would but I think that she is now afraid to get attached to an animal yeah. because of that. Yeah. Therapy. Therapy. 101. Anyway, so, no, your animal is like your, it's like, your baby. And it's so, like your if kid. you, okay, especially okay. if you, like, were in a relationship, a long term relationship well, with somebody, and you got it. a dog together, I mean, that was like. Shouldn't there be a custody battle that they can't leave the state with the dog, like your kid? I don't know if it's that serious. Okay. Because I think that the boyfriend wanted to go So, back. wait, wait, is he staying at the boy, ex boyfriend's house? I think so. I didn't really go there, but I think this so. This is. It's kind of complicated, messy. though. It was so funny because he was talking. How long were they together? I don't know. I didn't have like a full blown like. Okay. So, but I think he was. He he's funny. <laughs> he <laughs> last night. <laughs> last night he was talking about um, the dog. He, the boyfriend doesn't let the dog sleep in the bed with him. The the ex, old boyfriend. Ex boyfriend. Yeah. And so he sent me a picture, a cute picture of the dog in the bed with him. I'm sorry. Is he sleeping in his ex boyfriend's bed where he's bumming down I think on the so. new boyfriend? Mm. <laughs> So he sent me a picture of the dog, and it's okay. a great Dane, by the way. So he's like, oh, it's a 130-pound, like, cuddle buddy. And he's like, I can see why he doesn't let the dog sleep in the bed, because I think his boyfriend's also 130 pounds. So like, he's, like, being shady towards, like, oh, the new boyfriend. And I was jealous. like, I like that. I he's like jealous. that. I don't know if he's jealous. I think but... that's weird. Okay, I'm just going to go out on a limb here. Maybe there's, I don't know. I just cannot imagine if, if I broke up and we had a dog that yeah. I would want to sleep in my ex-boyfriend or ex-husband's bed. Where he currently fin dangles a new woman, but the for a dog. <laughs> I think that the I okay. think that the the gay world is weird because all these gays they'll like date or they're. I don't think bummed. we should say the word weird. That's our new thing. Is okay. my telling girls nobody's weird. It's odd. It, the it's the gay world is peculiar. It's I can't wild. Say that word, first of all, it's wild. The gay world's wild. Um, but so. Like all these guys will date or bone and then they're like, oh, yeah, we weren't good as like a couple But we're best friends now and I'm like do, do I talk to one person that no, I've dated? Nobody no. wants to talk to me <laughs> no. Like I don't get, I don't get how you I, become best friends with your ex like no, that's just not me I but, feel like I I just stalk your exes. That's Maybe true. just one There's one ex in particular that Tavia was I'm not attached to I feel like I was going through a breakup, and I have not been through a breakup in a long time. Yeah. Well, I, w w I mean, we've did talked you, about did this. Did you hear that noise? What noise? I don't know. It came from upstairs. <laughs> I live in like a very industrial... Are you shaking the camera? <laughs> well, I got nervous. I live in a very industrial place, and there's it moves and creaks, and especially with the wind. <sighs> okay. But anyway, um, I had one boyfriend at the end of last year that TV got really attached yeah, to. Yeah, it was... It was partially my fault because I thought... Sorry. I, we were, we were, we're done, done with, that. with that. We're done with that. It was partially my fault because I literally thought that he was going to yeah. be my next long-term relationship. So I introduced him to Tavia and we had dinner with the girl, her girls and mm -hmm. her husband. And, you know, I was bringing him into my life and then things happened and it didn't work out. It was hard for you. It was hard for me. I don't like it. I don't like these breakup things. I don't think that we talked So about now it. everybody after that, Colin's like, oh, I'm like, mm-mm. Nope, I don't, even, I don't even want to talk to you on the phone. I'm over it. Yeah. I'm over it before it started because you know why? I actually have good intuition. Tell me which one I wasn't wrong about. There was a boy I was at the wrong. beginning I was of the right year. about all of them. There was a boy at the beginning of the year that was kind of bad news. And uh, yeah. Crazy. He's crazy. But of course, like he's but the one But not I crazy enough to hurt me if you're watching this. <laughs> he's, oh, he would never. He's such a pussy. Oh, I have a hair. Um, it's my hair. Anyway, yeah, so not here. I'm not dating anybody currently. I'm married currently. Yeah. Still going strong. So how like you guys Wait, that's here? a story I was gonna tell you. Oh, okay. Okay, so at work <laughs> I don't know if it's that funny. I thought it was funny. So at work there's like a new app they're coming out with called Zaddy. <gasps> oh <laughs> Zaddy. Okay, so we have to give backstory. So we call Luke or David calls Luke, that's her husband. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. Like, he's daddy. daddy, come here. Daddy, because he's a daddy to the babies. Yeah. Anyways, work I was talking about this new app called Zaddy, and we're at like a big office meeting, and I like outwardly giggled. So like, is it Remax doing the app, or is it? Yeah, I, I think so. I kind of blacked out because I got distracted with the Zaddy. 
zaddy. It seems weird. So then I was like giggling and everybody's like, what's so funny? I was like, you know, like a zaddy? Cause then I thought, aren't like the gay older men, the zaddies or daddies? Yeah. Is it a zaddy? Well, I think it used to be daddy and then somebody added a Z and now it's like Right, so then I was like, you know, and then there was like three ladies that I was trying to explain what a zaddy was and they all just looked at me with like a Well, zaddy. how did you, well, okay, go ahead. I said like, a, I said a zaddy is like the, the older gay man that's got the little younger gay man. He's the daddy. He's I would the say daddy. This. I would say that. And they all accurate. looked at me like this. And I was like, okay, you guys need to find a gay. Like, everybody needs at least to know a little bit. Right, yeah. So I giggled because I was like, oh, we have a new Zaddy app. What is it about? Oh, my God. What is it about? We need to make a Zaddy app just for the Zaddies of the gay world. But I'm sure they have one. Oh, I didn't come up with that? I don't think so. Oh. So what is the app about? I don't know. Uh I literally blacked out after they said zaddy hmm. and I started giggling and I was like, mm -hmm, that's funny. Mm. <laughs> okay. Do you have any, uh, real estate related stuff going on right now that we can talk about or that we should talk about? We need to talk about, um, probably omit names, but <sighs> omitting names. Here's the deal. Real estate market's a little crazy as you know. Yeah. And our clients sometimes tend to be a little driven on high alert. Is that the right way to say that? They're like wound tightly. Wound up, yeah. Because we're nervous. Yeah. Just take a deep breath and calm down. Right, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be but okay. But I think that we always forget, because we do this all the time, mm -hmm. and so I think that we forget how stressful the transaction is. Because right. it's, it's somebody's biggest investment, you know, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's emotional because you're you're either selling your old house and you're emotional about that, or you're buying your new house and you're emotional about that. Right. And I think that we forget that sometimes. Yes. So I think that we need so to be a little bit more empathetic towards yeah. people's just feelings. Just be on time. But people do get crazy. Crazy. Like, they just lose their mind. I've said that so many times. People just lose. You could be dealing with the most rational person. Yeah. And then inside a, in a real estate transaction, they just lose. Spiral all sense of like what's <laughs> okay yeah no. it's pretty wild it is wild it is people get a little crazy yeah for sure um so do you have somebody in particular that you're thinking of or no they're they're they've warmed up to my heart who my one couple that which is always oh the one down really, south. really really late okay yeah 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 it drives me insane when you're late because if I'm on time, right. you should be on time. That's right. like my biggest thing in this industry is just being on time. Well, and they say that if you're consecutively late, which I totally am. I, you say you, that, but I don't think you're ever late for me, especially because it's a lunch date and you are hungry. hungry. But they say that if you're consecutively late or con continually late, that you don't respect other people's time. Yeah, just respect That your time, time is more important than theirs. Totally. So. My time is very important. So they because I can be talking Tavia with talk Tuesday talk with Tavia. That's kind of a long name. We well, might need to work on that, but I don't know. So they warm. They're under contract. They're now, under right? contract. They're so excited. They're gonna buy this cute little place. They're gonna have a baby. It's gonna be great. Oh, did you know that they're having a baby? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there. So there's like also the pregnancy like right craze Craziness, because yeah. we're just crazy. We're crazy when we're pregnant. You know. Right. You saw me. Right. Twice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was Olivia. Yeah, because you lied to me both times. I didn't lie. Yeah. I just didn't, I omitted how pregnant I was. Would you tell me if you were pregnant now? Not yeah, I feel pregnant. like I would tell you now. Like, I would probably, like right I would probably pee on the stick and call you before I called Luke. Okay, well, that makes me feel good. I know. Yeah. Because you're my, my guzzy. Okay. I have a guzzy. I need to unpack that, too. <laughs> a husband and a husband. Thank God they both like each other. Love each other. I you love know, Luke. Luke, Luke is so loves sweet. that I have a husband because he It takes loves, the pressure off him. He loves that I don't call him 400 times a day while he's at work. He, I call you. Yeah. Well, and now yeah. Samantha's in the in the mixture. Oh, so yeah. I hooked, Sam. I, I hooked uh, Tavia and Samantha up on mm -hmm. a blind date. And yeah. And they're having like a, what, what do you call, so a bromance is with two guys. Yeah, I don't know why we are friends. Friends? <laughs> Lesbians. Lesbians. No, they don't, they don't do weird stuff like that, but not weird. Don't say weird. Peculiar. Peculiar. I need to start working thought. on that. You know the other thing that I uh, am trying to work on, and I think I've talked to you about this before, but um, when you ask a woman, like, are they going to have kids? Yeah, you can't ask. And because I saw a post, my good friend Bettina, she posted something on Instagram and said... Are we saying people's names? Well, my friend, okay. Bettina. Okay. I just don't think Hi, clients Bettina. that we're talking shit about. <laughs> 
So, um, so anyway, so she posted something on Instagram that said, you know, there's so many things, like, they could be trying, they could be infertile, they yeah. could, like, there's so many things going on, and if you ask, it just, you don't know what their struggle is, so I'm trying to be really good about not asking. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you don't ask because you just don't know. I don't know how Which I know. used to ask, I used to ask all the time until yeah. I had kids, and then I'm like, don't ask. Well, because I think that it's a big struggle for a lot of people. Well, my husband won't give me any more babies. Oh, I think that's how we got on yeah, this topic. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. Okay, so yeah. He's going in for his man snip. Is he? When? When the actual appointment? End of the month. Are you End of the month. Yeah. I'm going to hold the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring a pack of peas. Is he really nervous? No. He's like, I got to go to the store and get my, they have like a mist and like a. a mist for what? Like, like a, a numbing mist. Oh. <laughs> Is it a prescription or is it just Yeah, no, we had to go to King Supers. Okay. No, there's not an over the counter numbing mist for your penis. I don't know. You know oh, what there is? There's... Did I tell you what the girl said? <laughs> no, what? About the green penis? Oh, yeah. But why is she saying Oh my again? god, we were making zucchini muffins. First of all, I have a six and a half and a four year old. Yeah. <clears throat> we're making zucchini, so cute. zucchini muffins. And my oldest was holding the zucchini and she goes, this looks like a green penis. That's pretty funny. So inappropriate. Luke literally- They're coming into their own. No, we're six. Luke walked into the, in the pantry and closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if he was like binge eating or just like- He's like, God, please help me. Like, please like help he's me. like, what is it, reco recoiling yeah, into his own know. body? He's yeah. like, oh my God. That's my life. I mean, buckle up because the hardest years are gonna come. It's gonna happen. When they're teenagers. Yeah, they're gonna suck. <laughs> like, really bad. I think that's what's gonna happen. I really do. Maybe maybe you'll get lucky and maybe one will be Wait, you good gonna, and one will be. You were gonna tell me something when we were in the car about going out this weekend. About the boy. What do you mean? Is that where you're going oh, to going the- going out last weekend? No, to the, to the dance club. Tracks, yeah. No, to the, the girl that has her dance moves. <sighs> Is that the same co concept or not the same concept? I don't know if we should talk about that. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know if we should talk about Never that. Never mind. <laughs> We're not there yet. Okay, so tell me about, so I've been thinking about getting oh, an Apple Watch. So Tavi just got an Apple Watch. And and so how do you tell me how you feel about it? What are your first thoughts? Because how many, how long have you had it? Only like a week. Okay. And do you feel? Why did you get it? Well, because one, because I think I deserve something nice for myself, so I bought it. Okay. Always on a Monday. Spend all your money on a Monday. Makes you feel better. Just, Who taught you that? Who just gave me. You that just me. Oh, like, okay. Okay. Just go big on Monday, and then by the time you get to Friday, you're like, whatever. It's fine. You know what? I got it because I want to try to disconnect a little bit. Right. From my phone, and I like that you can like work out and it tracks your workouts. Yeah. Keeps me motivated. I'm committed to being motivated. Do you feel like it's helping you disconnect from your phone? Yes. Okay. I do. How so? Like, I just don't carry my phone around with me all the time anymore. Right. I just kind of leave it. Okay. And then it just bzzz me if it's important and I look at it. Yeah. And then I just don't respond to it if I don't need to. So that was my problem. So that's why I have two phones. That's actually, actually a good segue. Actually, that's not why he has two phones, but that's okay. Well, okay. Yeah, partially segue the into the dirty text messages. Okay, I can tell that story too. So how it happened was I had one phone for work and personal, and I took an inappropriate picture for somebody, oh. and I accidentally sent it to a client. So inappropriate. But that, that was the whole reason because, you know, I'm a gay single male and at night, you know, I like to yes. have flirty conversations with people and then your clients are trying to like chime in and they're ruining the vibe. And I just feel they're like they're ruining the vibe. hundred percent. If you're in there and you're texting you're and you're like, being sexy. Look at my butt cheeks. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then your client's like, I need to see this property tomorrow at 7 a.m. And it's like, okay, well, now my mind's not on that, you know. <laughs> So I was like, I just felt like I could never turn off the work well, and when that, I was trying to have like yeah, downtime. Yeah. And so that's why I got two separate phones. Yeah. I don't, where was I going? Oh, so yeah, I'm trying to dis disconnect too. And I feel like the Apple watch would be, I feel like I would be more connected. So like if I got the Apple watch, I'm thinking about getting the Apple watch, but yeah. only for workouts. Cause Tavia told me that you can compete. You follow people. 
And I feel like that would make me yeah. a crazy person. I work out 16 times a day. Motivation. That's right. Because you got to complete your circles, your rings. So what is that? I don't really understand. I don't know anything about technology. I'm horrible. No, you're not. So you get rings, like okay. like the red, the green, the blue ring. But okay. if you complete everything... So what are, what's cold. the red? The red is your movement, so like your calories. Okay. How many calories you want to burn? The green is your exercise, and then the blue is like your standing. So like, I've moved... Do you set how many calories you want to burn in a day? Yes. Oh, okay. And I have exercised for five minutes because I ran up and down the stairs. Okay. And yeah, like it tells you... Well, first of all, flights climbed. Do you actually have to climb them or does going down count? Because I don't think going down probably counts. I went down the stairs. Here. We should have gone up the stairs. Because in my building there's 15 foot ceiling, so you would have gotten... A lot of... Probably four or five flights. I need lots of flights. So yeah, it motivates me because then when I see all the people that I'm following, like, crush a 30 minute workout, I'm like, God damn it, I'm on it. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued by that. And it, like, connects with your Peloton. So it tracks my Peloton workouts. For those who have a Peloton. I invested. How does it, so what do you, so what do you mean? Does it give you like a, uh, like what it shows you on the screen on the Peloton? Yeah. So like it shows me what I do. Okay. Let's go to my workouts. Do you also have a Peloton app? Yes. Okay. You have to have your app. History. Oh, this is very fancy. I know. Look at all my ring oh, completions. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm killing it because Samantha said we're doing 30 minutes of cardio. Or was it 30 minutes or just cardio? 30 minutes of cardio. You're doing cardio. Five days a week. Well, That's no, what but Samantha said. said we're doing cardio. Oh, for 30 days. For 30 days. Well, guess what? I'm the only one so far, I think, that's that completed it. That is accurate. She's got, literally, we're looking at her... Um, My screen. Her screen, and it's like she's done her workout every single every day. Every single day. Well, they're see? also not going to be able to hear it on the oh, podcast. Oh, okay. Because they can see it they on can YouTube. They can see it on YouTube. But every single day, I'm killing it. You are. So then, like, it shows you, like, yesterday, I did 50 minutes. I stood for 16 hours. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it said you did 50 minutes. You only want to do 30 and you did 50? Yeah. Oh. Because if you elevate your heart rate, that consists of, like, it counts as working out. So, like, if I'm oh. power walking in the freezing cold to and from my office and my heart rate goes up, you kind of are like, you might be working out. When you're really, really stressed out. When really you're just maybe out of shape. And so wait, you burned way more calories than you wanted to. I stood That's for six years. I did lots of steps. But this day was like awesome day. Okay. So this is Wednesday. Wednesday I did a thousand. No, is this Tuesday? Tuesday I did a thousand calories. I worked out for 94 minutes. Wow. 14 hours standing. I did 17,000 steps and I climbed 21 stairs. What is a normal, what is a normal step? I think you're supposed to do 10,000 steps a day. Oh, really? I definitely do. I don't think I do. I don't that. think I do. Do you hear the noise again? I don't hear the noise. <laughs> you guys might be switching locations. Um, and then when you share, you can see what everybody else is doing. Like uh, Andrea's killing Wait, what's it. the percentage? Jay. Oh, percentage completed. Yeah, so she's done 430 uh, and Oh, so Andrea, our title rep, she is killing also it. Also known as friend. Oh, yeah. we got 103%. Yeah, she murdered yesterday. Wow. Oh, Jay. 101%. Uh -huh. Joseph, 100%. Yeah. 138%. That was me. I, this is really motivating Should we go after this. the podcast? Maybe. It's not Monday. We should go pick, pick it up. Let's go buy a watch. Because um, I'm going to crush everyone. I'm going to be at 200% every wait, day. Do you have any gay trips coming up? Like, by gay trips, I mean, like, trips with, like, homosexuals. And you're going somewhere to do homosexual things. Uh, I have three ski trips. January, February, March. We're going to Copper. That's not with the gays. Not with the gays. Okay. And then Janelle's taking me to... Cabo or Mexico? Mexico in March. Okay. I was supposed to go with those two guys from Nebraska, remember, to to Mexico in January, but I decided not to. I think that was a solid decision. I, mean, I think it would have been fun. So I there was let me give a little uh, backstory. I don't know if we have enough time for this. We're running out of time. Uh, I'll try to make it quick. So there was this guy that I dated years ago, and for some reason, it just didn't work out. Like, we just, it didn't work out. But for, like, we've reconnected in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And he's been off and on with his boyfriend for a while. And I went out there last year to go see him when they were broken up, and now they're back together. But I guess they have, like, an open relationship. I, so they I also, me. side note, find weird. Continue. Oh, odd. Peculiar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> So anyway, so he, they're back together and they wanted me to go on this Mexico trip with Wait, them. Wait, were you guys going to like just 
have sex all day, weirdly, I mean, oddly. It was just in Puerto Vallarta, so I'm sure we'd go to the beach and then bone and go to dinner and go out and bone and I don't know like oh you get, this gives you, me anxiety why you have to have an open mind like this is when I have my best experiences when I'm just like freeze a little bird oh that's our timer our timer well we probably need to wrap it up for our first session yep but um this is gonna get better we're gonna dive deep I think so. Peel those layers of the onion Let's peel back. the layer of the onion. And you know what? When everybody just starts loving us and having questions and you just want us to dive into something, you just tell us. Yeah. So and we'll just do it. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Well. How do we sign off? I don't know. I think, I, thank you so much That's for coming down That's how the cookie crumbles. Here. Okay. <laughs> Is that not it? All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching slash listening. Yeah, listening. And uh, join us. Hit the subscribe button. I don't really know how it works on podcast. I feel like you go like this. like. But I, it's also going to be on the podcast oh. site, so I don't know how that works. But, but if subscribe. You, if you point down, so push the button. And follow and like, do whatever. Tweet about our Because we're going to be back, and we're going to be consistent in 2020. Yeah. Once a week. We're going to do it. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you for joining us, and have a... Great day. Yeah, Seize great day. the moment. Okay. Go buy a lot. All right. Bye. Bye.